वेलकम एवरीबडी टू करंट सेशन ओवर हेयर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द रिक्वायरमेंट्स और द गोल्स ऑफ बिल्डिंग द डेटा ड्रिवन फ्रेमवर्क राइट बेसिकली आई एम डिस्कसिंग द मॉड्यूल नंबर ट्वेंटी ओवर हेयर टेस्ट एंड डेटा ड्रिवन फ्रेमवर्क इट्स ओवर एट आवर्स बट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वॉट वी हैव डन इन दिस राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस शुड बी अ मेवन प्रोजेक्ट राइट what do you build what do you mean by a maven project fine there should be a single pom.xml which is there in maven i have discussed maven in detail right in this file we have kept all the dependencies for the project and all the dependencies should be included in the project automatically by the maven and maven should also be able to run the project the second requirement is that we should be able to read the data from excel or the properties file fine look there are two types of data fine there are two types of data which you have okay one type of data is the one which changes frequently right and the second type of data is one which never changes or the if the change happens it happens after a long time right or changes after long time for example the regular data of your website for example the regular username password and your regular testing data which is there it can frequently change and a data like say the admin username password or the url of the website or the title of the web page okay data like that that might change over a period of time not every time right so we have got two sets of data the data which changes very frequently we keep it in a excel file or a xml file and the other type of data we keep it in a properties file so in this framework we'll have to make provision for both of them all right for example this is the data of this particular framework i have taken three four test cases and arranged the data like this okay right and every set of data has a run mode which signifies whether that set of data has to be executed basically the test has to be executed with this set of data or not for example this is create lead test and this has got four sets of data but it will be executed only once with the first set because the run mode for this is yes okay right i have taken a zoho.com website and i have built the framework on that it's a crm fine now uh, you can also access it that's not a problem you can access that website and you can create a username password on zoho.com right now the second set of data which i told you comes from the properties file we have this project configuration dot properties where i have kept the path where the reports should be generated okay where what is the environment i am running the test case on if i am running on in the environment is prod then the data for the prod settings will be read from this file production dot properties otherwise it will be read from uat dot properties grid run equals to n means that i don't want to run on grid if i make it yes then the same framework will run on selenium grid okay so with the minimum changes you can put up the maximum output okay then we have kept the locators xpath ids and all everything in this particular properties file right we can also keep the titles of the web pages the static text and all on the pages which have to be checked over here in this properties file right we have, we can keep the path of the excel file having the data the path of i driver server chrome driver server so there are various things which you can keep over here okay right the next thing is that obviously we have to implement the test cases do the validations right everything has been done i'll, I'll talk about it in some time just be with me report generation yes it is important look there are two types of reports xslt and extent reports which we will be generating and extent reports are more famous these days okay i'll uh, give you an example report this is a sample extent report okay every time we run the program a new report is generated based on the time stamp fine and you see these are the test cases which got executed 
fine the test case which got executed in the very first go we have made the provision that it is present at the very bottom so the login test got executed two times it failed for the second time if you click on this you'll get the logs for this test case that this text test case got executed with this data on the chrome browser right and out here you will have the logs okay that i i am typing here clicking here and in the end of the login is failing right you will get the screenshot also there in the reports okay right so this is a very good thing this is a very good report you can click on this icon over here and you'll get a better look and feel you can also switch over to the view of dashboard wherein you can get the diagrammatic representation of the test cases along with the description the time stamp when the test case started and when the test case ended is also there right moreover you have got one more type of reports those are known as xslt reports not very effective but yes you can use it people have been using them right in xslt reports uh, you have this index.html file which you can open right so this is index.html for xslt you don't have a detailed description over here for each and every test okay but yes it is there you screenshots and all embedding is also not so easy in this so the extend reports are way better but we have shown how to build both the types of reports and also putting the logs in the reports as well as screenshots now we should be able to run the project from ant maven and eclipse okay ant is a build and compile tool for that we have this build.xml file with which we run and maven and uh, eclipse also can run the project so we have done the provision for that implementing grid yes running the test cases parallelly on multiple machines okay we'll also see that right if you look at the project then in the project we have got this grid.txt hub json node json so we have created one hub and two nodes right and two nodes means two pcs connected to one hub main machine is known as hub okay and to which you connect two other machines which are known as nodes right so you run the test cases parallelly on them so these are the configurations for the grid so we will do everything okay right and reusability flexibility and implementing the test yes this is very important okay you should have reusable components in the framework you should not repeat the code we will use inheritance okay this is the base test class which we have made which can have the lot lot of reusable things inside it right flexibility should be there for example if something changes tomorrow in the application suppose majority of your xpaths they change there should be minimum change in the application right that's why we keep all the locators in the configuration file this pro properties file okay all the xpaths ids and all we keep here so we keep everything at a common location and the variable things like xpaths and all okay and what happens is that the other test cases which executed so all the test cases they read the locators or the xpaths or the ids from this particular common properties file okay so if something changes tomorrow you just have to change in this file it really becomes easy you have to change the location of the reports or the excel file it becomes really easy to execute right you should be able to run it on different environments i have told that right you have a, you have a properties file production properties uat properties every environment can have a different properties file integrated in with jenkins scheduling the test cases yes this is important we have integrated this framework with jenkins and shown it as well you can schedule the test cases say every day every week every month fine moreover if a build happens then automatically the scripts they run everything can be done with jenkins okay it's very easy it is not a very difficult thing fine emailing the reports yes this is important after the script has executed reports are generated you want to email it to all the team members so we have this email mailing package with us in the framework sendmail.java which will actually send an email to all the team members okay building a bat file yes 
that file is like an exe file okay when you run that file okay the project will execute on itself the reason why it is used is because uh, look there can be a manual tester in the team who wants to run the script he never knows what eclipse is what ant is what maven is right so he can just directly change the data in the excel file right and he can directly execute the script okay from that particular exe file the bad file which i was telling about fine and then in the end the last thing is it should be easy to change because you know if you are actually um, having changes in the real website right then you sh it should not be that your framework is like it cannot change you, you easily you are taking a lot of time to change it that is why we build a core framework first this framework is such a way that it can be integrated with any website so first the first step would be that we'll be creating a core framework which we will be ha which will be having all the features like optionally running the test cases like reading the data from the excel file utility functions for reading data soft assertions validations report generation running provisioning for grid batch running of test cases right so everything would be there integration of the maven project and all so then we will actually integrate it with any one of the sites like we have integrated with zoho.com if you have a project with you you can integrate this framework with that particular project so this is how we we will be making the data driven framework okay